Yeah, yeah, it's time, guys. I'm actually outside of a normal Goodwill thrift store. It has been five ever since I've been to a normal Goodwill, and it's about time I hop up in there and see what they got. We're kind of in the country, so hopefully it uh. It reveals some heat for your boy. So we are live in the building and I've had a hiatus from normal Goodwill thrift stores ever since they started individually pricing all of their pieces. Now, all the t-shirts used to be $2 and then recently they started throwing all oh, types of tags on everything. And check this out. One, two, Tree Harley Tees for the low price of $15 per. How y'all feeling? Trippy. Oh, hold on, hold on. The mood is rising. The mood is rising. Check out this old school tee, bruh. Screen stars best. The US Olympic Festival. This is like bootleg screen printed embroidery. Perfect. The North Carolina Torture in 1980. What? Seven. Seven. And this is still two dollars. All right. Oh yeah, and I did find one other thing. Sorry to be withholding information from you guys. I'm like a government official. But PV man, Clifford Red, Big Seven, Seven. the polo by Ralph Lauren. Thick, high quality. Look at the stitching. Mm. The verticality is unrivaled. Look at this nice little treat. Something exquisite for the hometown H-Town Halletown. It's H-Town Texas Braveswood, baby. It is H-Town Texas Braveswood, baby. Houston. Dynamo. This is just for the personal for whenever I get season takes. So here's another little single stitch goodie. Genuine antique golfer. Shout out my neighbor. He's still like 70 something and is getting it on the course. 1995 is the year. But again, six? Yikes. I'm beyond blessed. This is my mom's favorite bird. And this antique wooden chair chiseled with love. Look at that, those are borderline dreadlocks. Oh man, cozy season. Check out the jewelry. Wow. You have this beautiful fleece and the brand is Active Sensation because it's sin, sin, sensational. Sensational. Well, would you guys believe that? And the furniture section is also coming through. The I love gold. You have this really cool shelf that I think will look awesome in the studio. I'm about to redo another wall. So I think this guy will look nice to add some odds and ends on top of. And then also look at this desk. It's only what? $23 and I do need a small desk for the studio as well. So I think I'm gonna scoop this guy up. If it's super windy and y'all can't hear me, I'm sorry, but look at that, look at that, look at this, look at that. I'm actually pleasantly surprised that I found some gear in Goodwill. I got like five items, some furniture. I think I'm starting to mend our uh, formerly torn apart relationship. Fuck yes, dude. I ain't got many friends left to talk to. No way to run when I'm in trouble. You know I'd do anything for you. So we had a touchdown in the past. The family thrift alley. Y'all know what time it is. And check this out, dude. All types of animal orgies happening. Genetically modified organisms. Hybridization. Oh, look at all the beasts. The sleeve never deceives. Mira Beckham. Oh my God. Ain't no way. That Herbalife. That's just a degree of separation away from being a pyramid scheme. Let's check the back. What? I thought it was my guy, David Beckham. Tripping, this is still a hard jersey though. I am going to do a soccer drop on the website, so everyone who is a football fan, fanatic, stay tuned for that. We got a bunch of pieces stocked up, just know. Y'all see that marital status? Hold on, this is a crispy graphic. Miami, we're saucing like a dolphin. I cannot tell how old this is. Tag is chopped. It looks older based off that neck. Hold on, let's keep examining though. There's another one, sauced. What is this? Oh, a little racing piece, 2007. Yes, and there goes another one. Clean colors, amazing graphics, RIP the space shuttle program. When are we going back? I need to know, when are we going back? Check it guys. This piece deceived me. At first I thought it was one of these modern bootlegs people do. Then I checked the tag and it is not. Check out this custom. Denny peas. I believe these are Grateful Dead patches. If not, they're Grateful Dead-esque. Little distressing. That Lee riveted. 
and another one on the back. <laughs> Three of the same patches. They just couldn't get enough, baby. The vintage NBC Sports tee is a taffy. Look at the peacock, multicolored feathers. That full gay as hell. No judgment. Look at the cozy season. You got the crew neck USA made champion and the gently used grandfather loafers. Sweat. Drink it up with your eyes. What a sweet little piece of NASCAR we got right here. Kevin Harvick. Good Ranch Services again, RCR after damn senior dipped on them. This is such a clean graphic. You gotta love, put respect, and pay homage to the Chase Authentic No Gimmick NASCAR gear. So how do I find that tee? And then I backdoor it with a Dale Jr. with no car on it. This is all amp. And Mountain Dew! Lows your sperm count, guys. Look into it. I'm not even going to fib. I am tempted by the stray orange juice that's just chilling right next to a wine cup full of what appears to be a plastic Ziploc bag full of grapes, maybe? Hopefully. Anyways, you got the Lee Sport Genuine Casual Wear. Green Bay Packers plaid piece. Ooh. I know someone's grandfather rocked this back in the day, but imagine it. Tucked in to some nice dress pants, some chinos. Again, maybe throw on some boots. You're looking like a whole ass 1950s athlete. I don't know why, but this feels like one of the oldest Logo 7, seven pieces I've seen. Look at that, man. The stitching is playing Connect the Dots. We got some military on the thrift. This is making my allergies act up. This thing smells ancient. It smells like asbestos. But um, M65, man. These do fetch eh, somewhat of a pretty penny, but there's not just one. There's a big two <laughs> of them. So this is actually, I think, the grail of the day out here. Check out this piece of denim dynamite. This is an ancient Lee blanket lined jacket. And check out how old this tag is. I think it has to be like 40s or 50s, man. I could be wrong. It might be 60s. I don't know what this style of jacket is called. 91 pounds LB48 regular. I mean, it has fat plastic buttons embroidered on it the distressing is perfect the blanket lining is crazy and the corduroy hit on the collar wow holla wow i gotta do more research on this i mean i looked up a bunch of tags but i couldn't find this exact one it is a bit yellowed due to age these pants are so sick i have never found lucky brand vintage pants look at that oh we getting lucky tonight look at the detailing on the pockets holy tits Holy tits. Ooh, y'all see that little lens flare popping up right there, baby? Yeah, solar flares cracking out. The sun acting the damn ass. Dude, I got a bunch of stuff at Hillcroft. It was amazing. I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it. It was an amazing day up in there today. And now we're at the last spot of the day. So hopefully there's some more gear for your boy. I love you guys, man. Thanks for watching, man. I uh, I don't say it enough, but I truly am grateful and thankful that whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you are doing, I hope it is benefiting your life and I hope the behavior that you're engaging in is making you a better person, all right? Well, I guess your behavior is watching this, but your be your behavior and actions after this, I hope are making you a better, a better person, okay? Let's go. Okay, man. So stepping in, <laughs> I'm greeted with the Skechers once again. No, but check this out. My closet is nothing but Harley Davidson. Check it out. The Eagle is battling a dragon that is cosplaying as a clown on the 1988 Hollow Beck. This dude is on that DGH, that dragon growth hormone. Harley Motorcycles, 1988. Yeah. Is there a back hit? Yes, sir. You got the cowboy on the back, too. Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, that Outback leather. Oh, you think they made these at Outback leather? That's real snake, damn it. Then we got another biker piece. The Travis Scott brown and gold. This actually matches my truck. Might need to hold it. It's almost been a whole episode without me playing my divine hymn and anthem. I see all this money through my Ohio State Buckeyes. What? This is one of the sweetest 
clothing tees I've seen, man. The avalanche out of bounds. Y'all did not want to see me on a snowboard, dude. I almost broke down in tears. That was so frustrating. I am not a cold acclimated individual and my athleticism was not on display that day. Regardless of the fact, single stitch. Yo, wear Puma, fine Puma, Puma life. And we got that Brazilian bodaciousness. Whoo, thing looking like some damn squirt soda. Mm -hmm. If I gotta be honest, I preferred the days when everyone was on steroids and getting in bar fights rocking this merch. But hey, every piece deserves a second life. Another one. Another one. College baby. College. Eh. College. Eh. Y'all look at this single stitch sheet. The USS Enterprise National Air and Space Museum. That is sick. 1991. The Foss selection is gorgeous. But it's starter gang. I'm a motherfucking star boy. I'm a motherfucking star boy. Dude, check out this crew neck I found. This is the Brookhaven National Lab, which if I'm correct, they've made breakthroughs in like atoms, particle theory, uh, nuclear physics, microbiology. I don't know, this is very sick. And it is made in USA on the vintage frame. I don't care what era it is. I'm never shying away from the 90s. Tiami for your mommy. <sighs> that wet wet, that drip drip, that sailing gear. I know it's new, but this graphic is absurd. So last but not least, we are leaving with some very essential rat merchandise. Excuse me, mice merchandise. Look at that, the subtle, soft, the denim button up. This is like what my, uh, Elementary school teachers would rock casually except to be apples and not you know this beautiful Disney with the green filigree But I like both of these pieces man truly time-tested classics in my C-K-E-Y M-O-U-S-E B-I-T-C-H's Y'all, so we're back right now from the thrift. It actually has been a few weeks. I just got done editing the video. My hard drives have been snafuing, so it's taken a while. But I've done some research on this Lee denim jacket behind me. I mean, let me show you guys the details again. Corduroy blanket line, the 91 LB, size 48 regular. So I knew this guy definitely was old and I finally have found a comp now it's not a sold comp but it is a listing of this jacket for 451 dollars on mercari so yes i think i found about a 500 dollars jacket live in the trenches this is perfectly distressed the interior is nice and coarse as a blanket lining it should be and uh yeah if you want it check out the website thriftheavenvintage.com this guy is going to be dropped most likely today. If not, it will be released on Thursday. Now, with that being said, on Tuesdays, I go live on Whatnot. So right after this video, I am doing a live stream at 7.30 Central Standard Time on Whatnot. And I have all the items lined up on this rack. So yes, we got the nice little Wildcat Electric Supply uh, blanket lined as well. Everything starts at a dollar. It is a platform you can live auction and bid on things. And this rack is just stuffed all the way up with a variety of things. And yes, on the live auction format, I just chop it up with you guys live in the chat and it is a great time. Now, if you guys don't have time to tune into that, then always check in on the website. There is new gear added there multiple times a week and that is thriftheavenvintage.com. But thank you guys again for the support. I've been shooting a lot of videos so I have more content to release once I figure out my hard drive situation. But until next time, thank you guys as always. Live the dream. Eat that ice cream. I'm locked, I'm loaded, and I'm gone. I appreciate y'all. Killing these songs, leaving a bloody life, I roost them. And I'm in it to win it, so I'm somebody that you should get used to.